Hey guys, Corey from ShootingTime.com and this test here is going to be the Pierce test. This is going to be part of a broadhead challenge and what we have going on here is a drill press that's going to be able to lower the cylinder down onto our broadhead. We're going to lower it until the broadhead pierces the fabric which in this case is 100% polyester, I believe it's called Bumi Casa Sadden Taffeta. But it's a pretty strong fabric and it should do pretty well. But when we lower this down onto the broadhead, while it's piercing the fabric, we're going to measure the amount of pounds it shows on the scale to give each broadhead its individual score. So uh, this is actually our second go at it. Initially we tried lowering the broadhead down, but we found out that with the mechanicals, it didn't uh, go very well. Uh, with gravity working with us here, the mechanicals should deploy downward and everything should work out good. So, let's see how it goes. Grim Reaper Micro Hades Pro. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. Schwacker. Tooth of the arrow. Thorn archery mechanical. Thorn Archery deployed. VPA two blade. Kudo point. Fire knock. Two blade rage SC. QAD Exodus Grim Reaper Pro Three Blade VPA three blade Well here are the results of our Pierce test as you can see the Grim Reaper Hades Pro came in first at three quarters of a pound um, That's no doubt and thanks to its super super sharp tip and blades uh, followed by the Kudo Point, which came in second at 1.3 pounds. Uh, the Kudo Point, we did notice, had probably the sharpest blades out of, the, out of all 11 heads that we tested. As you work your way down the line, you'll notice that the mechanicals, along with the Tooth of the Arrow, didn't fare so well. Um, the one thing we'll point out is the Grim Reaper Pro 3, those blades actually did not open while going through the material. So if during our penetration test we noticed that the blades had no problem opening going through the first plate um, we may come back and adjust that score but hopefully this uh, opened your eyes to how 
um, angle of blades, sharpness of blades, the design of the tip, and whether it's mechanical or not a mechanical, definitely affects uh, the amount of pressure it needs to pierce through any kind of material. So, hope you found this interesting. Thanks.